Hey guys, this is Tony with Thinner Geek Designs. And today I'm going to show you how to design a business card in Adobe Comp and then take it over to the computer and finish it over there. So to start, we're going to press this plus button. It's going to pull up all the formats that we have saved. Let's choose business card. So that's what we're going to be making today. It's going to create a whole new document. As you can see, it's a blank document for us to start with. That's good. Now, if you've never used Adobe Comp before, it is basically a program on iOS and Android that can allow you to start making a quick design and finish it on the computer. So what we're going to do on here is we're going to get a quick rough layout on Adobe Comp and then complete it over in InDesign. So to start off, we're going to go over to this picture icon on the top, open the libraries, find our logo, which is this one. Now it's going to input the image in here. Now you can see our image is way too big for this project. That's good. We always want a higher resolution image. Clip the image. We're grab this angle. Pull it down with our other finger to keep it straight. About that is what we want for our logo. We'll now zoom into our project. We'll now move this up a little bit, move it over a little bit. That looks good right there. Before we get too far into this, we're gonna need to add some guidelines to this to make it easier for us to lock on to some objects. So we're gonna hit this gear icon. You're gonna see grid and guides. We're gonna click add. Now you're gonna see how it kind of looks like a color. This is okay. This means that we're going to add our grid. So we're going to grab this handle right here. Go in a little bit. We're going to know that width is 251. We're going to go in maybe 10. Click done. And now we can see we have a grid that's going to allow us to take our logos and all our content and snap it right into place. It's hard to explain it, but you'll feel it kind of snap into place. There we go. Now that we got our logo on, we're going to need to add other content to this. So, Let's get a tight box in here. To do that, we're going to draw a line. Just like that. And now we have a tight box. It's saying we have missing font. It's okay. Business card, you always want really small font. It's not a good thing to do. This may look huge on here right now. type what we need to type in here. So now we're going to type in what we want to since we double tap to get in here. We're going to type in first, 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 last name. That's good. We're going to go over to these little three dots down here. We're going to duplicate this so we can get one exactly like it. Move this down a little bit. That gets a little too close to the logo. Drag this over. Okay. Now in the second one, we're going to write position. I think this is a good starting point. You could actually do a full business card on here. 
present it to a client while we'll having a meeting with them. But I think for this, we're going to send it over to InDesign to finish it to be a little bit quicker. So we're going to choose this arrow icon. And we're going to send it to InDesign. And as you can see, the circle icon is spinning, which means it's sending to InDesign right now. It says it is sent. Go over to InDesign and check. Now we're in InDesign. And as you can see, we have the same document. It had a little bit of issues when it came over, but we can clean this all up now. How are we going to clean this up? We're going to fix all the little details. I mean, all that Adobe Comp is good for is getting your ideas quick and on paper, almost like a sketchbook. Think of it like that. So I see we have just like how we did these. Let's go over to our libraries, though. As you can see, we have more options for our libraries. We also have this character style. There we go. We want that. We also want it on here. There we go. We also want this color to change. So let's grab this. like that we quickly added some color to this to give it more pop. I think one other thing that'll help this out is if we have a grid on here. Okay, let's get our columns out. Let's shrink that down. This time we two columns instead of three actually. Now that we got this over here, I think we're going to make it obviously a little bit bigger than the other one, but we'll get this copied over. We have it. Put it down here. Put that there. Put it away. We'll make it bigger. Move maybe 10 font. Phone. Website, not website, or website. 
how you design a really quick business card with Adobe Comp and Adobe InDesign working together. Remember, the Adobe mobile apps are kind of like your quick and dirty. They're going to get you what you need to get done, get it quick and fast, and then you can use your desktop apps to finish it, refine it, and make it look good. It's going to do it for this one, guys. Remember, tutorial videos come out every Friday, so stay tuned for that. Get subscribed if you haven't already. Stay up with the wicked content on this channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.